Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Before we head out, I'm packing us a quick snack. We are obsessed with these LaCroix. The first thing we did was that we stopped by Starbucks and we just found out that they brought back pumpkin spice and I love pumpkin spice. I grabbed myself a yummy pumpkin spice frappuccino with no whipped cream. Then we took the subway into the city. I live in Queens, so this is just the fastest way for us to get there with no traffic. And I thought this ad was so, so funny. Then of course we forgot that it's a holiday and the trains were running on a weekend schedule. So to pass time, we started playing the new game of life. And this one is so, so cute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to walk towards the High Line. And as you will see here, a lot of the restaurants are literally on the street. Indoor dining is still not open in the city. Now we arrive at the High Line. Usually you can enter through any of their entrances, but because of COVID, they're making sure that everyone social distances and there's only one way. Now the only thing is that you have to make sure you book a ticket online. The tickets are absolutely free but they're making sure that they space the times between everyone. Now for those who don't know what the High Line is, it's basically an abandoned railroad track. As you can see here, the tracks still remain and they built this beautiful concept on top. The last train to run was in the 80s and this was built in 2009 and I absolutely love coming here. You can see all the buildings being built right next to it. You can see the cluster of the city. You can see the old buildings with the new. Usually they have a lot of things up here that you can do. You can buy popsicles, there's art that you can buy, there's also music. But because of coronavirus, they really wanted to make sure that everyone just kind of was in and out and social distance. Now I don't want to do a lot of voiceover, so I'm just going to let you enjoy the beauty of the High Line. this building up here is called edge and it's amazing it's basically an outdoor sky deck and it has a 360 degree view of the city I love the mix of the old architecture with the new architecture it's absolutely stunning
this vessel is one of our newest structures here in the city. It opened up last year in 2019 and it's honestly just a visitor attraction but it's absolutely really really cool. This part of the city is called Hudson Yards. River Park where we're gonna have a picnic and try to catch the sunset. Now this specific part of the pier is called Chelsea Piers and it's really, really awesome. They have a lot of activities to do so if you have kids that you're bringing into the city this is a great place to come and visit. golf, they have ice skating, and you can also rent one of these boats and you can have a dinner. you would think that I know absolutely everything about the city but as you can see here the city is always evolving and changing there's always new structures being built I guess that's what makes it really exciting about living in New York because there's always something to see so we found a spot so we can eat our snacks and just enjoy the view. towards the village where we are going to stop by one of our favorite places to go out and eat dinner it's called Taco Mahal and we love coming here the owner already knows us We wanted some ice cream and this is like the third spot we checked. This was the only place that was open and I got a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. I just got a scoop because I was already so stuffed. And we head back home where I'm going to soak my body with some Epsom salt and this spooky bath bomb and just relax. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications.